Keep watching Charis TV. I want to tell you something, but uh, I think uh, if you can't do what other people are doing, don't call it a name. It's a shame. It's a shame. Look here. Well, let me give an example. Even if you try to buy a car, it won't be the same with of your brother. It's not true. Even if you try to buy a car, it will never be the same with what? With the car of what? Of your brother. It's possible that you also have to open the engine. Are you hearing that? Another one is having a car that always you must make sure that before you sleep, you check that the rest have not entered. <laughs> Another one is having a car that he has never opened his engine. We would never be the same. So, I want to tell you, the first time I went to Nigeria, I was not going to school. I was invited. I was invited by a prophet to his church. I used to go to Nigeria. I didn't know Prophet T.B. Joshua. Huh? It's true. I didn't know. I was invited several times in Nigeria before I knew that day. He asked me if I can sleep in the hotel. He showed me, I said, no, 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 no. I saw a big house there. I don't want to sleep in a hotel because I understand what happens in a hotel. So maybe I can sleep at the back door there. He asked his friend who met me at airport. We came there, we slept in that room together. Before we pray, ah, this man just came with a story. That man, he just came with a story. So he knelt there and prayed. Me, I climbed the bed and sit there. So I was praying. When we finished praying, he came to see. But he said to me, hey, man of God, you look like another man here. I said, another man? I said, yes. I said, this man is called uh, a man in the synagogue. He told me like that. I said, I don't know him. He said, his name is uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. He's a magician. I said, ah. <laughs> That's what I was told. So when, when he finished that, that's how we fought with that man. I never wanted to sleep with him on the same mattress because of that. I heard a voice say, the man he's talking about is my servant. So I told him, I said, hey, the person you're talking about is a servant of God. He said, ah, you know nothing about Nigeria. But the ones who I said, I'm not talking about Nigeria, I'm talking about God. God is telling me that this person you're talking about, he says, no, he's a magician. He says, no, that's why you look alike, man. He, he, he get... So in my heart, I came back and I cut, I, I, I deleted his phone number. I said, I don't want to work with people like this who don't believe in God. I deleted his number from there. I went to Nigeria to my friend who was inviting me. Yes, I went there. I came back. He invites me again. Uh, when he invited me again, I said, no, let me take Mama to see how is Nigeria. So, this one who said, that's where I met Prophet T.B. Joshua. For me, I met Prophet T.B. Joshua. was not by arrangement. He was inside there, standing like this. And he told people inside and say, there's a man of God outside, I'm going to meet him. Mama was there. He came out. He came, so when he came, when he was walking like this, I was just saying, man of God, man of God. I didn't know it was him. Kandi, he said he's going to meet a man of God outside. For what good reason, I don't know. He came, but then I was not as ugly the way I am now. You understand? So I was holding my, my wife because of, that street was full, the street that you know was full. So I was holding her. And we had a PA, if you remember. I wanted Mama to see the church, and also I found this man. I heard about this man, so I was going to preach in another church. We stood there 
Prophet T.B. Joshua came. Even when he came, I was shocked, in fact. I was still shocked because he came walking and I holded my wife. Ah! And the security was doing like this. So he was coming walking. When I look, I said, ah! I thought I'm seeing myself. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, by that time, I was still handsome. <laughs> so I thought, I thought I was seeing myself. He came. <laughs> In fact, I didn't know he was him. In my mind, I said, this man look like me. What is happening? He came and stand here. He holding my wife like this. I'm sure Mama remember what I'm talking about. Mama, can you tell people here? Yes, I do remember. We were standing outside at the door. He, he, I hold Mama behind like this. He came to stand here. He realized I was shocked. So, but when he was standing, he, he smiled and uh, I began to know his prophet be Joshua. You understand? So he asked me a question. You remember Mama? He said, why are you standing outside? Say, why are you standing outside? So I told him that, as you can see, this place is full and, uh, and people are not, uh, there's no way I can enter here. So he looked at me, I look at him. Me, there's a vision I saw, his eyes changes. So I could see Jesus uh, on him. And I was looking, huh? Oh, but that Jesus that I saw in him was having red eyes like fire. And then I was looking at him and was looking at me. I could hear in my heart, you know, there was something that was burning and excitement, you know. But I was still standing with him, looking at him. He says, okay. In fact, you, I'm sure you know Prophet love to say, okay. So he said, after this, he said, okay, do you want to go inside? Because remember, when I was coming, I, was, I wanted to show Mama the church. Because we were beginning to watch his church. So he said, okay, do you want to go inside? I said, yes. He said, security, open for the man of God and his wife. I never told him this is my wife. You understand? So he says, okay, you can go. That's how we separate like that. So I decided now to visit him. My issue of visiting him starts from there. I decided to visit. I'm, I'm sure I'm speaking the truth, Mama. This is the truth. Let's leave it like that.